I'm Lindsay Jensen at the Colorado State Fair. The fair's general manager predicts not quite as many visitors at the fair this year than last, but a food vendor I spoke with predicts more than $10,000 coming in, which they say is crucial to keeping their doors open. You're getting the Pepsi? I'll get the hot dog. A hot dog, please! Vineland Methodist Food Booth is the oldest food vendor at the Colorado State Fair. We're so thankful to the community for supporting us because if they didn't do that, we wouldn't have our church and our doors open. This is what keeps it going. She tells me business has been steady, but it is nothing compared to last year. It's been up and down. I think that right now it's hard for a lot of families. It's hard for even us. The fair's general manager, Scott Stoller, tells me that could be because attendance is a bit lower this year compared to more than a half a million people last year. I feel really good about 490,000 people. I mean, that's, if last year didn't happen, it would be the best year in, in recent time. Uh, so it's definitely being down doesn't mean we're down. It just means that uh, we didn't reach the, the peak like we did last year. He says the last fair economic study was done in 2021. It reported people spent about $30 million at the fair, which generated $1.5 in sales tax back into the city. Pueblo Mayor Heather Graham tells me she is looking forward to this year's revenue helping the city's budget. I think it really helps with our public services that we have. Um, as everybody knows, the city is facing uh, potentially budget cuts over the next couple of years just with our uh, influx and in stimulus dollars a little bit after COVID and how our budget grew. And so we're always um, happy to have people inside our city spending their dollars here instead of somewhere else in Colorado. And why is it so important to have this state fair in Pueblo? Uh, well, the history. I mean, this fair has been here since the 1800s. There's so much tradition here. And then just walking around the fairgrounds, uh, you can see the architecture. It really tells the story of Colorado. Back at Vineland, Donna tells me she loves being a part of and making a difference in this community. It's our home. And we've got to take care of our home in order to make it successful. The fair's general manager says they have about 60 food vendors every year, most local to Pueblo and the county. Until next year, at the State Fair, I'm Lindsay Jensen. News 5.